Aloha, this is Stephanie with Turtle Flow Tribe. Welcome. Today, I will be demonstrating Lion's Breath, also known as Simmasana. And Lion's Breath is practiced. It's a breath work, but it's practiced to release your jaws, all your face muscles, as well as just kind of let go of any stress from your day, stress or any anxiety, tension. It's a great way to just kind of reset and energize, letting go of anything that's weighing you down. And right now we're in Leo season, so I thought it would be very appropriate to go over this breath work with you and it's not something that you sit and practice for like 10 20 minutes it's very quick and um, you want to just come to any comfortable seated position um, I'll just go straight into demoing palms open like this in front of your knees you're gonna take a deep inhale through your nose Open your mouth. We're going to do that two more times. So that's how you practice. And you can be as loud as you want. Or it could be a simple... Without like having the tongue out too much. And it's a fun thing to do with your kids if you're staying at home with your kids since um, the kids are being homeschooled at the moment. Um, you can incorporate this into cat cow. So I'll just demonstrate seated, but you can do this on all fours. So you would inhale, open your heart, pelvis forward, exhale round, and you can let out a you can also come forward, inhale, and then let it out while you're in the forward position. And um, kids love this. And it's also done at the beginning, oftentimes um, to set up for meditation, just to kind of clear out and tension from your body, tension from the day to kind of cleanse and reset. Um, you can do this at the beginning of a yoga practice. And um, some instructors will introduce it. There's Toby. <laughs> and see how the dogs all got attracted to this breathing. Everybody came really close to me as soon as I started doing the breath and they got really excited. And so um, you can do this while you're in down dog as you're holding downward facing dog. Anytime you feel like, especially if you're like doing the vinyasa flow and you feel, feel like you're just tightening up your jaws to get to a certain pose. So if you catch yourself doing that while you're holding down dog uh, between sun salutations or between sequencing, you can always sigh it out through your mouth as you're in downward facing dog. And um, you don't want to overdo it because especially like in a restorative class because or yin yoga class because then if you overdo it, it can also exert um, too much energy and it could be more depleting. So some teachers don't even like to have you do it at the beginning of the practice, but some will. Um, so that's kind of up to the teacher, up to how it feels to you. So just be very mindful of that. And um, so it's really great for releasing your jaw, tight jaw, all the muscles of your face, the neck, tension in the neck. And um, it's also said to be really great for um, um, reducing like, bad breath, I don't know for sure, but that's like some of the research I've done according to um, Yoga Journal. And um, 
It's supposed to help with people with stutter, but of course, check with your doctor. If you would like to add more elements, enhance this practice as a seated practice, you can also get into that seated position with your opposite legs crossed. Do it three times each leg with each leg in front. Palms face forward, op wide open. And just cultivate that lion energy, cultivating that strength, the confidence, and just roaring out, finding your voice. And you can also tap into that third eye point so you can find your dristi focal point at the point between your eyebrows and then let out your lion's breath. Deep in out your nose, open your mouth. Another thing you can also add, you can do both or just one or the other. Chin lock, you can also incorporate chin lock. So chin lock is chin towards your throat. So that could also help with some stimulate your thyroid. But again, consult your doctor. Um, these are not supposed to be medical advice, but um, just what could help. And um, yeah, just play with it. See what feels good to you. And I hope you have a joyful, bright, so it brightens the energy, uplifting very quickly and um, wishing you happy Leo season. I am a Leo moon um, and my south node is in Leo, uh, but mostly I'm water sign. I'm very much a Pisces. So wishing you a great evening, day, whenever you're watching. And please subscribe and comment below um, if you've experienced lion's breath before or um, if you've tried it from this video, share any experience you had with it or any questions. And please don't forget to um, like the video, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell button so that you'll be notified of the next video. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening again. Namaste, which means the divine light and love in me. This is the divine light and love in you. We are all one. And go within and find your inner sparkle.